Now more than ever, innovative technologies are fueling change and sparking new ways of thinking. Collaboration between corporations and startups is key to staying at the forefront of these trends. However, finding the right startups can be expensive, time-consuming, and ineffective. But Plug and Play is here to help. As a corporate partner, you will gain access to a whole ecosystem of innovation. Discover startups that meet your tech interests. Stay updated on the latest trends and network with industry peers. We will help you during every stage of your innovation journey, no matter where you are and where you want to go. Get in touch today. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for the plug and play and plastic waste launch of our Sao Paulo hub. We could not be more thrilled and excited to welcome you all to this event and to finally kick off our fifth and plastic waste program um, in around the world. My name is Matthew Claxon. I'm the Global Director of Sustainability. Um, and I just wanna go ahead and get started with today's agenda and then with a few opening remarks. Um, so you're gonna be hearing from a few different people um, about our plug and play and the Alliance of Sand Plastic Waste relationship together you hear a fireside chat between the CEO of the Alliance, Jacob Dewar, and Plug and Play's founder and CEO, Saeed Amidi. You'll also hear from three startups with a live Q&A. Uh, so please make sure to have your questions ready to ask them in that two minute window. Um, and then we'll be having a corporate panel discussion at the end and then friendly some closing remarks. So I know we might be new to most of you on the line today. So before we get started with um, the rest of today's event, I just want to give you an overview about Plug and Play, our sustainability program, and how we got here today. So for those of you who don't know, um, Plug and Play really started um, when humble, with humble beginnings. Um, our CEO, Saeed Amidi, um, originally owned a Persian rug store on, in Santana Row in Palo Alto, where he was you know, selling uh, Persian rugs on the bottom floor and then renting office space on the second floor. And while he was doing that, he came across some pretty interesting people. Um, one of the first people he came across was uh, the two founders of PayPal. Um, he didn't think they could actually pay their rent. So he said, you know, exchange for two years of rent, I want one year up front and 1% of your company. Um, that worked out very well for him. Um, and then later other uh, smaller companies such as Google, Logitech and Dropbox also moved into that building. And he was able to invest very early into, that, into those companies. So he really caught that startup bug. So 14 years ago, he decided to formally start Plug and Play. So Plug and Play has been growing um, and scaling and doing more and more things ever since our, our early beginnings. So first off, Plug and Play is still a VC firm, uh, tried and true. Um, if you go to the next slide, please. So today we do about 200, 250 investments um, around the world. We're working with a number of VCs and private equity firms um, to help them co-invest into early stage startups. Um, we also do corporate innovation. So today we work with over 400 organizations around the world to help them with their, um, you know, going becoming more sustainable, to help um, create more efficiencies in their own business, to help with their digitalization journey, but ultimately help them work with startups to create these uh, mission-driven goals or accomplish something internally in their own organization. And lastly, we run global accelerator programs around the world. Um, and that's what we're gonna be hitting on today is as we kick off our now seventh accelerator program with the Alliance and Plastic Waste. Um, but today we run about 60 per year around the world. So in addition to this, we have a very lengthy list of companies that we've invested in. Uh, today we have about 1600 startups in our portfolio, 15 of which, which have actually reached unicorn, including uh, Latin America zone, Rappi. If you go next slide. And Plug and Play has grown quite a lot since our early beginnings. So we originally started in our headquarters in Silicon Valley, but we now have 30, 38 offices around the world, including eight in North America, four in France, four in Germany, eight in China, a few scattered throughout Southeast Asia, two in Africa, and lastly, this office in Sao Paulo. If you go to the next slide. 
So in addition to this, plug and play operates across 18 different industry sectors, whether it's you know, animal health, ag tech, uh, brand and retail, fintech, food, energy, mobility, smart cities, IoT, health, new materials and packaging, enterprise, travel, um, or supply chain. But today we're really here to focus on sustainability. So even though plug and play has been around for about 14 years, sustainability is actually one of the newer programs in plug and play. Uh, but we've been doing a lot of work in sustainability uh, before we formally started our partnership um, and our vertical with the Alliance and Plastic Waste back in October of 2019. It seems so long ago, uh, but it really wasn't. Um, if you go next slide, please. So for those of you who don't know what the Alliance is, one more. Um, the Alliance is a global consortium of about 60 companies that have all come together with a common mission of ending plastic waste around the world. They've each contributed to this collective fund um, that is being used to sponsor um, cleanup projects, social impact projects, or um, investing into innovation, infrastructure, or education. Um, today, that group has raised, I believe it's about $1.5 to $2 billion um, into this collective fund. And this is where plug and play comes in. So our goal at plug and play is we are actively sourcing and scouting startups all around the world in the focus areas for the Alliance. So in plastic waste collection, waste sorting, processing, uh, the unused markets for that plastic waste, financial incentives for bringing that plastic waste back, river pollution prevention. So we want to find, uh, gather that plastic waste before it ultimately ends up into the ocean. Uh, waste material exchange, which is a marketplace between waste collectors and the people who want to purchase that waste material and transform it into something of value good. And the design of plastic to make it easier to recycle. In addition to this, we're also launching our sustainability efforts um, in carbon neutrality and in water um, in this hub. So if you have any questions about those, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. So how our accelerator program with the Alliance Stem Plastic Waste works is we've been sourcing and scouting these startups from all around the world. Plug and Play has a team about 100 to 120 ventures, associates and analysts that are actively sourcing and scouting and bringing in new startups from all around the world in all the different sectors that we work in. Um, on average, Plug and Play brings in about 1,400 startups into our ecosystem every single month. And these are startups that we actively reach out to, we get on the phone, we tell them all about Plug and Play, what we're doing, our programs, and then we invite them to apply to our ecosystem. Today, Plug and Play has about 45,000 startups in our ecosystem, and it's growing every single day. But how this process worked or works is we have done a call for application. So we open it up to the general public and we've done our own sourcing and scouting. We then shortlisted that startup to uh, startups to an elite list of top 50 companies where our panel members for this um, program will be are currently actually reviewing those top 50 startups, which will let me narrow down to a top 20 and ultimately to a top 10 or 12 that go through our program. And we'll be announcing those um, batch startups in about two months from now. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank our panel members for this hub, for being part of this journey with us um, and doing all the hard work and evaluating these startups and working with them and also being mentors. So I'd like to give a big shout out to Joe Machado from the Alliance, a representative from Dow, Brasscam, Veolia, Pepsi, Aspen Tech, and Milken. Um, we could not do this without you. So thank you so much for your participation and for being part of this panel. So this isn't, as I mentioned, this isn't our first program that we had. Um, so last year, Plug and Play and the Alliance in Plastic Waste actually ran three accelerator programs where we reviewed a few thousand startups and narrowed it down to 10 in Silicon Valley, 11 in Paris, and 11 in Singapore. So we've accelerated 32 startups last year, and we've already accepted another 23 this year with the hopes of accelerating about 60 to 70 by the end of 2021 um, in this year alone. So <clears throat> that those partnerships or those startups have actually led to about 75 commercial and pilots and POCs. A large handful have actually gone on to full commercial rollout. And we've helped those startups raise about $75 million of capital um, to help them grow and scale their companies and more. Um, what you're seeing on the slide here is just a few quick highlights of partnerships and investment opportunities that have been formed as a result of the plug and play and plastic waste innovation platform. And I know um, we have one of our guest speakers that'll be touching on a few of these, uh, but just some notable examples that I wanted to touch on was the one between the Alliance and Literati, uh, which you'll hear about a little bit later down the line, 
between Gao, Biofusion, um, where they are now scaling their mechanical recycling facilities um, in North America, um, and Oceanworks and Aviant. But if you would like to learn more about any of these partnerships, please feel free to visit our website where we have these case studies um, online. So lastly, I'd like to say a, a big thank you, and we're very excited to be launching this program. So we've already launched a program in Silicon Valley, Paris, um, and in Shanghai. We'll be having that selection day in about a month. Uh, but today we're really here to open up our fifth hub with the Alliance in Sao Paulo. And we'll be opening up our Johannesburg one um, on June 9th. Um, so with that, I'd like to pass it along to one of our guest speakers, um, Nick Kolish, the Vice President of Projects from the Alliance Sand Plastic Waste. 